the big thing that we really wouldn't have expected. Yeah, and this, this is, seriously is... This is unprecedented. It actually is. I think maybe the closest they've got to this is... Huh. It actually might be Warlords of Draenor. Yeah. Sounds crazy, but patch 6.2.3 was a really good patch. It brought in time walking. It added the mythic difficulty to dungeons. And at least the gear my character had at the time, those dungeons, like, felt like mythics. I... Yeah. Doing war dungeons whenever Mythic first came out was a great experience. Fantastic. Even they had Valor points. Hmm. So, yeah, patch 6.2.3 really did add a lot to the game. Um, yep. I think this is the largest since then. Mm -hmm. Arguably, you could say that some of the... I don't know if it was XP boosts, but at the very least, they did boosts for Legendary Quest progress. Uh, for Legendary Quest progress, and I think Valor points and a few mm. things like that. They did that at the tail end of MOP whenever it was dealing with its 18 month or 14 month content drought. 14 months? Oh god. But this time they're going harder than they ever have. Mm. So yep. Shadowlands is going to have a fourth season. Now mm. you probably think, what, BFA had four seasons, what's special? Yeah. Well, Shadowlands has got one uh, one less major content patch, Indeed. which obviously is shit. Uh, but but instead of us just having like, I don't know, a year until the next expansion comes out, maybe 13 months, who knows? Instead of us just having ages until mm. the next X-Pack comes out, uh, we're actually gonna have something to spice things up halfway through that wait, yes. which is good. And it's not just them saying, hey everyone, we've uh, scaled all the numbers up, do it again. No, they're actually uh, trying to innovate a little. Well, innovate within the bounds of the format that they've stuck themselves to. Absolutely. Which, you know, I will say, I'm very, very happy about all of this. But then I do have to, like, you know, put up the sidebar and say, hey, I don't think this should be a seasonal game like this, because this isn't this is an MMO. Let's not have that. That's kind of a side discussion. Absolutely. So, yes, they're going to end season three yep. as a normal season length, right? Because sometimes you just yeah. have a 38-week long season. I think that's actually, I think 38 weeks is what the final season of BFA was. I could be wrong. I think it's 38 weeks. That's so long. Yeah, I know, right? That's, that's well, that's, yeah, 14 weeks every year. That's a lot. Yeah, and that gets really just, it gets really crazy. I know for PvP mm. as well, it does uh, strange things with raiding. Oh, and, yeah. And all of that as those, like, extend on. So. Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, because if you want to be in the top percentage at the end of the season, you have to play for 38 weeks to get there. Yeah. As opposed to go, I'll get this done in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. What's well, good is that, uh, you know, not only are they, they doing those things mm -hmm. um, so that the seasons are, are reasonable, but they're actually. Well, as they say, having a fresh take on what a season of World of Warcraft might include. Mm. Right? So they're trying something new. For PvPers, it's more of the same. Though so you're not you're not getting new shit. Mm. Uh, right? So your PvP efforts will reward you with higher tier of PvP gear, along with other seasonal rewards such as mounts and titles. So it is exactly what you would expect. But as we move on to Mythic Plus, that's where it actually does get uh, get interesting. Very Raids interesting. too. What they're doing with raids, because we have we have not discussed this properly. Mm -mm. I have no idea how they're going to make that work. It's cool, and I'm really glad they're doing um, it. I have a few questions. But yeah. for Mythic Plus, right? They're throwing the current pool in the bin, mostly. Yes. Right? Well, so... Um, I. That's how I read it. Yeah, that's how, that's how it reads. It very much reads, because, I mean, obviously, um, I think I saw... Oh, uh, who was it? Someone on Twitter asked the dev for clarification on if they're removing stuff, and they were like... I can't tell you anything at all whatsoever. I can't even, like, tell you that. So I don't know if it is, like, uh, here's Shadowlands plus these yet, or if it is just, just get rid of all the Shadowlands dungeons. You're tired of them. Here's the new yet ones, which yeah. I think would be better. Also would work better with how the game kind of feels overall. I, but. I guess if they added the eight of them, they yeah. could just say that your rating is based on your ten best. Hmm. Or they could do something like that. But that gets confusing between Fortified and Tyrannical Weeks. Yeah, and then you're going to have a lot of super dead keys in that case. You really Because are. why would you want to do something like a mecha... Well, I guess depends on balancing, of course, but why would you want to do like a Mechagon or something when you could, you know, just do uh, the other side or Mists, I can think. Just get an Unbound Changeling, bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, what they're doing for the new pool is basically hmm. the two wings of Tazavesh, which, of course, by the time the season comes out, no one will have done because everyone's been avoiding those keys, as far as I can tell. Except for Dagor, who uh, got the teleport today, but yes. Ah, good man. Um, Operation Mechagon, the two of those. The two return to Karazans, right? So basically all the mega dungeons, and then two dungeons from Warlords of Draenor. And we get to choose. Between yep. Ockendune, uh, Slagmines, Everbloom, Grimrails, uh, Shadowmoon, Skyreach, and Ubers. Yep, and I'll say this now. You've all been choosing wrong. Yeah. Anyone who's clicking Iron Docks, 
please stop. What are you fucking what doing? What is wrong with you? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you? Hello. What are you doing? Why? It's yes. the most boring dungeon in world. Yeah. It's also like okay, right. <laughs> If you're thinking about this from a strategic point of view, from a tactical, okay, how are we going to do this, right? Why would you no. go for two Iron Horde dungeons? You want, like, Grimrail, and then you want Auchindoon, you want Everbloom. Skyreach is similar in color palette a little bit, but you, maybe you even want a Skyreach. Oh, yeah, like, right. But Turns out, motherfuckers are just afeard. Afeard, yeah. They're totally afraid of Skyreach. Damn right, that's a terrifying dungeon. Skyreach is a fucking great dungeon. Yeah. I want to do, do Skyreach in a... Myth, Mythic Plus. People are tired. I guess I keep on. I, I tweeted it, and you know, people are just like, oh, "Sky Reach on Mythic Plus? Are you crazy?" I'm like, yeah, "It's fun." Yeah. Do oh man. And then Shadow and Burial Grounds. I love SPG. I did it in the time walking this week, and it's, it's bosses. so good. Yeah. It's bosses are good. Yeah. Could you? But that's that's where I think the problem comes in, right? <laughs> What's <laughs> happened? Yeah. The the possibility of you know going. I'm going to play some Mythic Plus this week. Okay. What's my key? Oh, my key's in SPG. I'll go to that. Oh, it's tyrannical. And I'm doing like an 18. Oh, it's Nerzul. Ah, I guess. Ah, fuck. No one's going to have the damage. No one's going to be able to kill the ad to break a hole in the wall. Everyone's going to be confused and annoyed and die because they haven't done the dungeon before. That's what I think people are a little bit afraid of. But Sad. don't be afraid. Uh, just to pick the hardest one and it'll be fun because what dungeons were genuinely really, really cool. Yeah, they were. Yeah. So, uh, yes, right. It's going to happen. I'd say, hey, hey Blizz, um, I know yeah. you're going to do eight dungeons in this season. I mean, you've got 10 in the current season, so why don't you just, you know, add two and for, forget about Ubers and maybe maybe, maybe, uh, maybe add, add these two? Maybe, please, 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 please. Oh, the bird boss in Skyreach. Oh, my God. Exactly. It's, like, it's just LOS. Oh, but the phoenixes that track and explode each other. No one's, no one's going to be able to do that. Shit was great. Yeah. Shit I mean, great. I mean, it wasn't great. It was really frustrating at the time whenever you're trying to do it and people didn't know. I enjoyed because, it because you know <laughs> there's a lot of we're looking at this in hindsight, remembering hindsight, remembering the best times as opposed to the sheer amount of frustration whenever a uh, tank didn't notice down behind the wall when you're trying to heal him. You're like, please, please, just, just, just literally use your eyes, open your eyeballs, please, and they never did. That's going to be a concern, but ah man, just but going into Mythic Plus, it'll be different. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> come on, it's wild though. This is the expansion where they tried to put was it? It wasn't even gold proving ground. It was silver, right? They wanted a silver proving oh, yeah. ground on getting into heroics. Can you imagine not being able to do a silver proving ground? What the fuck? Um, I can imagine it, but the problem is that imagination is so far away from who I am in terms of looking at video game and understanding. Makes, it. It's like it, I just don't understand. Like I, I'm not even particularly good. Mm. I can usually do a gold proving ground on a new spec and roll. Well, that's because all you have After yeah. a little bit of working out what to do, it's easy. Yeah, all you literally have to that's do is, like, understand... Well, okay. Um, interrupt, right? Um, oh, that's hard. Inter interrupt. There was the... Pull the... Or, or stun the heal. Get the amber into the other mob. And then DPS priority targets. That was all you had to do. Yeah. So, I don't get it. Uh, I actually, you know, I remember, uh, hmm. I think it was Preach doing some investigations, and he found out that, like, the worst place to do dungeons was normal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just because, like, a normal is harder than a, hero a heroic purity because the people running a normal dungeon, like, are just completely incapable of playing the game or something. I don't get it. I know part of that's because you're not really doing a great job to teach players through all these oh, things. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, I just think about like, you know, how you go through the trials in, in FF14 and the way that it mm -hmm. handles all this shit and it just seems to produce players who actually know how the game works a yeah. bit more. Some of, that, some of that's because of World of Warcraft's sheer longevity. Yeah. Because it's like, there's some of the, you have to understand how to play the game to progress at all in Classic and TBC and in Wrath, where it did ask a lot more of you, but it didn't ask a lot more of you in the same way it does now, where it's just like, kind of like hyper optimized go to a third party to understand your dps you had to have like a decent amount of game sense but now you can't really game sense very well you can't get yeah that. you right. can't you can't game sense a good like dps rotation or anything you have to go to an external source to look at it so if you're uh, just kind now, of going, eh. most of the dps mm. classes are super like, uh, okay so for rotations i'll agree but when you start to factor everything else in because how much damage are you going to lose when you go well You've got the legendary that looks cool, but you haven't looked at how much it's going to do. Mm. You've got the uh, soulbind that or the covenant that you thought was cool but isn't very good. <laughs> how much are you going to lose there? Yes, mm. I enjoy being a Kyrian frost mage. Haha. <laughs> yep. Let's go night faded. Soul ship. <sighs> <Extra blind. sighs> 
probably. Uh, but anyway, look, point is, this is actually really good. Yeah, this, this means great. if you're running M+, other than, you know, getting those Tazavesh uh, keys, yes. it's going to feel completely different. <laughs> and in the case of Warlords of Draenor, completely, completely different. You know, that's I, great. You know, I've actually been so fixated on the Warlords dungeons. I forgot how cool it's going to be to do Kara again. I genuinely forgot because I yeah. Kara's was so, so, so cool. God damn. Yeah. No, so look, man, great stuff's coming. So this mm -hmm. is all really good, uh, I think, uh, because I, mean, I, I didn't really have, like, our current guild that happened as of patch 8.3 yeah uh, so i mean i've missed so much of this content so i'm able to you know properly do it with people it's great so i'm really looking forward to that Indeed. now raiding is where i think it gets like it's brilliant but also it's like whoa how are you going to do this how is this even going to work simple enough i think to be honest but fair well they say for season four raiding they're reimagine or they're imagining okay so it's actually very much not set in stone, but they say they're imagining a progenitor-themed affix system to infuse some new mechanical twists into Nathrius, Sanctum, and Sepulchre. Their intention is to make all three raids relevant in Season 4 with increased difficulty and more powerful levels of raid loot dropping through all of them. Yep. There will be no Hall of Fame for Season 4. They don't want it to be a competitive event. That said, you know, it doesn't matter what Blizzard say or what they want for competition. People will treat it vaguely competitively. Oh, yeah. But... Like, imagine a race... To, I mean, this is going to be funny after the current... I'm not going to call it drama, because that's a little bit much, but, like, the discussion over how long the race to World First is currently taking, it being now... Was, I think Max was tweeting something about, like, they arrived there in February, it's almost April. So they've almost been at this for, like, a whole month now. What? Yeah, because they landed early to prep and stuff like that out there. Time? Wow. Yeah, this patch has been out for a month. <laughs> I, that shocked me to hear today, but, um... Where's it going to that? Uh, yes, the fact that, you know, you're going to have a race to world first. Here's 11 bosses. It's taken a month. Here's a race to world boss, or race to world first. You've done it before, but here's have uh, have 31 bosses this time. I think that would actually be kind of cool for, like, a marathon event. That would be crazy, yeah. Um, so, I have a number of questions. Yep. Do not take this as me being down on this. I'm mm. very much up on this. I'm very happy about this. I do you have some questions, because I'm, I'm just curious. So, how's loot going to work? Because... Presumably, it's just, here's all the bosses, go do them, get loot. Yep. And presumably, the weekly box stays, mm -hmm. was it 148? 158, I think. 158, yeah, presumably the, the weekly box anyway stays what it is. And then, you know, they're obviously not going to scale it up. So, I guess for gear, it's like, what does a raid night look like? You know, just having that many possibilities, it's not really something we've actually had in the game before yeah uh, well here's what i'm thinking right so what they could do is redesign the loot system and think of like a really novel way to handle this loot but then i think of every time they've done that ever i think you know what the best thing to do might be just let it be just go there's three raids there's 31 bosses it acts like a 31 boss raid Mm. You just go and get your bog. You get your, you get a kill. You get your loot. Because you don't want to say, oh well, the grave vault will now be one sixteen twenty eight. Oh yeah, I've been saying because that would be completely pointless. Um, so it's a kind of thing where the only thing you're going to want to do there is, or the only thing you should be afraid of is the power differential between people who can do all thirty one bosses in like one week because they've got more time and then they've got more loot. But if this isn't a competitive season, then that doesn't yeah. really matter. If you have, if you can sit down with your guild and go, all right, boys, we're going to do, you know, we're going to raid two nights a week, but what we're going to do is go through them linearly. And, you know, if, we, if we're stuck on Sludge Fist because we need gear, we'll just come back into Nathra again. Or maybe, you know, maybe we'll go do something else that's easier. But, like, I don't think they need to be careful. That's basically my point. Fair. They, they okay, don't need yeah. to be careful. They don't need to think, oh, what if, oh no, what if people play 31 bosses and get all the loot? What if they're finished in one week? Oh shit. Don't worry about that because the only, so the, the solution to that is going to fail because you probably don't have the biggest amount of time to implement it. Any solution you design for that is going to feel stifling to players, like an arbitrary loot lockout for no reason. So just don't do that. Yeah. Just be like, fuck it, have all that you want. No. Learn, learn, <laughs> fr learn from 8.3 where a lot of people had fun in 8.3. And that was because you could just go buck wild and wreck the game. Yo, Let wait, them do that. Wait. I don't like this. Wait, wait. <laughs> I don't like this. So, okay. You have tier gear? Yeah. You have domination sockets? Yeah. Those are in the same slots as tier gear? 
Oh, the like the likely turn so off. Probably we'll turn off domination charge. Probably. Yeah, I'm thinking they'll just have to turn off domination shards and make it just yeah. be tier. Yeah, I guess because they don't want to remove the tier gameplay. That would be a silly thing to do. No, that'd be a waste. And that'd and then that makes me think because of course the creation catalyst is going to exist. Yeah. Too. So this is making me think that one of the things that they're going to be trying to do is this like wild situation of you know, you've got the best bow. Say you're a hunter, right? You got the yeah. best bow from any raid, like the best stats, the best everything. Maybe it's the Sylvanas legendary bow, season yeah. four stats. Cool. And then trinkets, you have the best yeah. trinket. Cool. So, yep. and this no, I mean this is cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everyone can actually just find the most insane level of bis possible, mm -hmm. like absurd, and they can give you that like crazy end of expansion feel. And the other thing that I'm thinking about though is the uh, the progenitor affixes. Well, the affixes, yeah. Because like, well. you can't just go and put volcanic in a raid because we'll all book flights to our vine and pick at you. Yep. So they can't do that. So what do they do? Uh, well, what they say is uh, specifically progenitor themed affix system. So that you know, the lazy thing to do would be here's the M plus affix is slapped on the raid. That would be really lazy and boring, and as, I, as I'm going to explain later, there's a lot of that is designed for balance as opposed to fun, and they don't, if they're not going to put a Hall of Fame here, if they're saying up front, we're not treating this as competitive, that means they don't have to care about balance that much, they have to balance it to be fun of course, but they don't have to balance it and remove fun in the process, which means a quaking, a volcanic, a storming, something that's just like, ah, oh, fuck off, I don't want to do with, deal with this, anything that's that, they don't have to put it in the game. Which means they can focus on things that are a little bit more fun, a little bit more transformative, and to be, uh, I guess, a little bit sweaty about it. Is this something that a lot of the players will be happy to engage with in ways that will spark cool creative stories, cool creative gameplay? I think the example you brought in your video, uh, in the video on it, was um, like a damage taken, damage dealt pool. So, you know, oh, you want to stand in this, you'll get your health chunked, but you'll do a bunch of extra damage. So you've got this challenge of, all right, you know, someone in your guild is just a giga, giga parser. I'm going for rank one. Healers absolutely follow me. I want like, I want a series of prot paladins spell warding me while I stand in this pool so I can do maximum damage. That's the kind of stuff that could be cool. And it's all that stuff like, even uh, one of the examples I had was like, just second hero. It's like, yeah. th these bosses are way harder so you get a second hero. You can use it whenever you want. Stuff like that where it's like really transformative to the feel of gameplay that makes people go, oh, I've got a cool new option I can use. Let's yeah. fucking go. Something like that I think would be the best thing to do. The but other side of it is it's described as an affix system. Yeah. That makes me think it's not just an affix applied across everything. So yeah. that could mean different raid-wide affixes for the different raids. It could yeah. mean that. It could mean that some bosses are just the same boss but harder, yeah. while other bosses have an affix applied to them. Almost yeah. like them going in and with a progenitor theme adding in a bunch of essentially old school heroic modes ah uh, interesting you know just like sprinkle in one or two mechanics yeah that uh, mm. change up a boss you know maybe they they look at some fights and think ah oh, if only you know this wasn't like this and if only we added this this could maybe be an opportunity for them to do that mm. this is like one of the few times where this is one of the few times where they actually get to learn from the lessons of shipping a bunch of fights yeah. and then almost do an extra iteration on a bunch of them if they really want to. Mm -hmm. That could actually be interesting. Yield some cool shit. So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, overall, as, as a raider, this is interesting. I want to see how this feels. Cool. Mm -hmm. As someone who's dabbling a little bit more in Mythic Plus these days, this is brilliant. Another thing, this is the entire expansion mattering in a patch. We haven't yeah. had that before. And yep, also, right. it's Blizzard saying that it's a fresh take on what a season might include. Yeah. That's very much hinting that the future could look different. Yeah, I mean, what's like, if <laughs> what's it going to feel like going from here's a patch with three raids to here's a patch with one raid? That's going to feel bad. Probably bad. It might feel fine, depends on how they execute this, but it's going to feel like pretty, pretty bad to move down. So is this like setting up a tremendous precedent where they are going to go out of the way to make use of old stuff? Because obviously this is them testing the waters for, you know, Nathria, Sanctum. They're within Shadowlands designs, so that's okay. To, you know, that will take the least amount of work to put in. But they're also trying with Warlords Dungeons and Karazhan. So like, the game is so different now than from Warlords. Yeah. Like in terms of all of, basically every class is substantially different. 
so if they're test if they're literally using those little testing grounds to go hey uh, encounter designer or dungeon designer or whatever whatever a role you might have game designer go and make that work for shadowlands and if they can do that then why not hellfire citadel why Exa not yeah, yeah why not invoke its sacred name thorn of thunder exactly and that's exciting yep it's like you can sort of do that with black temple and ulduar but it's a time walking thing. It doesn't really drop super relevant gear. It's not, yeah. you know, it's like it It doesn't really, it's a thing you can do, but it doesn't exactly have a great, like, place in the overall game. But yeah. if they can kind of find a place for this, well, I, I just think it's all very exciting. And I really, yeah, I wonder when we get the expansion reveal April 9th, like, what are we going to hear uh, about this? Nin so, 9th? 19th? 19th. Whoops. So you, I just went into panic mode there for a second. Yep, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, of course, by the way, it's Ward's Time Walking Week right now, so you can try these dungeons out. Yep. If, so, uh, if you want to. Yeah, so if you haven't voted yet, try them out before you vote, and vote Grimrail and... Um, ah, shit, I don't know. So Grimrail and Skyrim. It's not, it's, not about, it's not about voting what the best is, right? Mm. It's about tactically voting. Oh. It's about tactically voting, so all of you people, if you're okay to be wrong, who have voted for Iron Docks, those need to be defeated through tactical voting. So I think whichever one in NA is higher between Everreach and Skybloom, for Everreach and Skybloom, I've just made two dungeons. Yeah, I'll send great. you. I'll send you the invoice, <laughs> Blizzard. Uh, Everbloom and Skyreach. Um, vote for the highest one of those. Cheers. Yeah, fair. So look, this is great stuff. Yeah. Is it new content being added to the game? No, not exactly. But mm -hmm. it is like as best as they can do for yeah. a hey, here's a nice thing to have because in the past they just would let the game be dead. Yeah. So that they're doing this clearly at a time when they also have had a bit of a scuffed schedule in general in and around Shadowlands, I think is great. Oh, I mean, alternatively, hmm. it could be that they made the call to kind of cut Shadowlands down decently yes. early. So actually, maybe it turns out they have actually been all steam ahead. The next expansion things are better than we think. Yep. Hard to know exactly. Okay, so um, Dark Soul 9669 says, Dude, these dropping super relevant gear would be abysmal. You're going to have people in raids needing wildly different shit and have raids be flat out useless for half a group at a time. That would be unfortunate, but acceptable enough, which means the only solution to that is probably a currency-based system where you kill a boss, you get an item, and then you trade that in for a specific item. That way they can control the loot pool uh, and also you'll feel rewarded for every boss you do. Again, invoice in the post. Done. Solved. Yep. Okay, so that's patch 9.2.5. Looks... One small part of it. <laughs> yeah, a part of it, yeah. Looks mm. great. 